watch how I transform this flower pot into this glamorous flower pot. Watch this video to the end. Hello loves and if you're new here my name is Alusi Kenga welcome back again to my channel and today I got this uh, palm tree I wanted a palm tree and went and bought one so I don't have a flower pot yet look at this flower pot and I want a glamorous flower pot like it makes house look so glamorous and so gorgeous so I'm going just to DIY a glamorous flower pot and you'll see the end results. So yes, I bought it and it looks like this. So this is where I planted the aloe vera died. Uh, so I went ahead and bought this palm tree. And yeah, now I have a palm tree instead of aloe vera. And at this place, if you haven't seen my house tour, at this place, I want to make a console. And uh, yeah, I want to DIY all my house. So yeah, let's start this video. So I have this. This is M Tungi, guys. I cut it the to on top and i removed the lid and it's a black i went ahead and got this black mtungi and this is what i'm going to diy and make it transform it into my glamorous flower pot watch this video how i transform this so i've cut this edge and uh, I, I just put it away this and i'm going just to do with this tape and make a pattern so that it looks gorgeous so i'm just going ahead with this uh, paper cellar tape and uh, yeah i bought it too and the scissors or if you don't have scissors razor blade will do let me show you how i do this pattern but you can do any pattern you want uh, you can draw and make any pattern which you want and i'm going to use this tape so that when i paint this mtungi that the places which i've put the cellar tape won't have the color which i've painted so yeah So I went and got this uh, gold spray paint. I'm going to spray this Jerrica. So make sure you shake the spray first very well and then you go ahead and spray. So the first mistake you don't want to do is don't spray close, too close to the Jerrica. This is what happened and I learned it the hard way so don't don't get the can too close to the jerry can. Just stay 30 centimeters or a little bit further so the paint would be good. Make sure 
sure you also spray inside a little bit uh, so that it will look good inside also. <laughs> Now we leave it to dry. It dries very fast, so let's leave it to dry. After it has dried, I'm taking out the tape, and this is the pattern which I had put the tape, and see how it goes out. It looks good. Look at the results. So make sure you subscribe, guys, to this channel for more DIYs if you want DIYs and subscribe and like and share guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this diy and see you on my next video